<laughs> my wife was out of town. Uh, my, my wife was out of town recently on business, and uh, uh, we both travel for business. We're rich people. Don't worry about it. Side note, but uh, we do very well financially, more than most people here, I'm sure. <laughs> Judging just on outfits. Yeah, probably the richest guy here. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, anyway, so she was out of town on business, and I was feeling emotionally vulnerable. I was just feeling a little sad. It goes without saying that I'm a little afraid of the dark, so when I'm home alone, I'm on edge, you know? And uh, I was like, you know what? I need to take my mind off things. I just need to watch a nice little movie. So I go to Netflix. I go to new releases. I like to do that. I like to see what's coming out, right? And uh, this new movie came out, and I watched it, and you guys have changed my life. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's called Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> Blacks in the room, you're going to be bored for the next couple of minutes. But <laughs> whites, <laughs> this movie will change your life. Um, so I'm feeling a little, you know, and uh, I sit down and watch this movie. For those of you that don't know what it's about, I'll tell you just real quick. It's about a, a white woman that's got a great job in New York City. She's having fun, amazing sex with a very hot James Franco on the red. <laughs> And she's miserable, <laughs> white ladies, right? And uh, <laughs> like a beautiful, beautiful apartment. She's not content. Uh, so she's like, I gotta throw all this away. I gotta go with me on a little trip. And she goes overseas, and she it's a journey movie. I don't know if you're in the industry, but it's a three-part journey. It's she eats, and then she prays. <laughs> and then, the end, oh man. Uh, she, uh, so I was like, <laughs> totally into this. Totally into this. So the first step of her journey, she goes to Italy, right? The boot. And, uh, and in Italy, she's going to learn to eat. And there's this scene. It's so beautiful. She's sitting at a table. The waiter brings over a red wine. She takes a sip of the red wine, and she just starts <laughs> laughing. Just joy comes bubbling out of her. And I was like, that has happened to me. <laughs> but with chocolate milk, you know? <laughs> it makes me so happy, you know? I know what you're going through. Julia, with your horse mouth and all of it. And, uh, <laughs> she's eating, she's housing pasta. Oh, she's eating. She's learning the Italian way of being a family and sitting around a table and eating food. And I was like, I could not be more engaged with this movie. And it's a perfect movie so far. And, uh, and then it's time for her to go. She has to go to the second leg of her trip, and this is where she needs to learn how to pray. And I know what you're saying. Head straight back to America, find a Catholic church, do a couple of Hail Marys, call it over. No, no, this is a movie. She's doing exotic prayer, non-Christian prayer. She goes to the dots in India. And uh, whatever they are. Yeah. Some of the details might have slipped out of my mind, guys, but she... The dots and the robes, and the, they smell, and uh, anyway. <laughs> they don't smell bad, they just have an odor, you know? Everybody that's owing is like, mm. in the back of their head, they're like, they do have an odor, though. <laughs> you should not say that in polite company, but I definitely do agree with that odor. <laughs> so she learns to pray, and there's a grumpy old white guy there, and he's like, you ain't learning to pray. And she's like, I am learning to pray, because she's got spunk, she's an American, right? And uh, he's like, you can't learn to pray, you son of a bitch. And she's like, you're the son of a, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but this is the, they got this, they got this back and forth. I'm not a movie writer, obviously. And, uh, so then she's fighting, and then she's like, why are you so mean to me towards the end? And because she's, she's trying to learn how to pray, and he's trying to stop her from learning how to pray, and then he tells the story. <laughs> he's an alcoholic. That hits home for me, right? And he comes home drunk one night, and he's drunk. And he parks in the driveway, and he goes in the house, and his wife is just hat. And she kicks him out of the house, and he backs up and kills his son, who's riding his bike behind him. I know it! <laughs> I know it! I am freaking out! <laughs> So it turns out that he did not kill his son. His son Bart Simpson him and just crashed his bike behind his dad's car, to which I say, you know what, fuck that son. You know? You know your dad's having a tough time with drinking and stuff. You really gotta throw a car, a bicycle right behind his car, you know? 
So then she learns how to pray, and then this is where it gets so good. <laughs> she goes to the next destination. Do you guys know where the next destination was? Wow. Say it. Bali. Oh. <laughs> For the cinematography alone, watch this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful cinematography, and she meets a guy, he doesn't speak no English, obviously. <laughs> But somehow they're communicating on a different plane. And she's, and he, and then she meets, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this next man that's about to come into the movie is a game changer. He is the personification of a lightly salted almond. <laughs> this is just a big block of a Javier Bardem come strolling into this movie. And it's like, it's like if you hugged a cloud, but it was made of steel somehow on the inside. But yeah, you get it. <laughs> Right? <laughs> and I was like, I see where this movie's going. She's going to le learn to love Javier Bardem the way she could never learn a fucking monstrous James Franco by comparison. <laughs> you know? And I was like, I get it, but that's not, that's not how it goes. No, you guys. <laughs> She's learning to love herself. Shit, right? I am weeping by this point. <laughs> Laying naked in my bed, laptop <laughs> burning all the hair off my chest. I stream shit in HD, guys. It puts my laptop to the test. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I was feeling vulnerable. So I rewound the movie and watch the first 20 minutes of Eat again. I was like, I need this, an, an extra Eat. This movie should be called Eat, Pray, Love. Eat uh, one more time, you're good. Um, you guys, this is the end of our journey. And uh, I do just want to mention that, I'll just do a quick recap because we started real rocky. And I'm not gonna say that it was your fault or it's my fault, but it was, we, we know. We all know whose fault it was. So let me just recap how things went from that point forward, let's just put it behind us, okay? He introduced me, you guys gave me a raucous round of applause, and then I did what they call in the industry, fucking crushing it out, all right? I was making grapes up here, all right? Wine, I was making wine up here from grapes. I was crushing grapes. Guys, I was making grapes up here. I was burying seeds in the ground. And now I'm gonna say goodnight, my name's Pat Kent, and you guys have to do what in the industry is acceptable, is another round of applause. And I just want, I don't wanna say you have to give a loud one, a soft one, I just want you to know the situation you're in, because it seemed like we were a little oblivious before. Guys, thank you so much, my name's Pat Kent. <laughs>